Mr. Tucker, your story in front of this jury today is you were drunk that day. Yep. Plastered. Yep. You're drinking high balls, red balls, what you call them? Fireball. Fireballs. What's a fireball? Um, I'm surprised you don't know, but okay. Uh, I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. No, no, you're wrong. I was getting ready. I'm answering your question. Fireball is a, it's a whiskey, it's cinnamon whiskey. You know, it's very popular. That's why I said I'm surprised. And that's what you drank. That's what you were drinking the day that this all happened. Yes, sir. Got so drunk you went back to the warehouse, went upstairs, fell asleep. Knocked out. Knocked out. Yep. Now you were at the warehouse. You said you had been there on and off, right? Well, not necessarily on and off. I mean, I actually staying there. Uh, I think there was only two times. You know, there was the during the hurricane, and then there was the time period. You know, for CJ and Michelle. Other right, than that, were... other than that, I knew a couple people who lived there, and yes, man, I'd, I'd stop by there every once in a while. So you were you were basically house sitting for CJ and Michelle. Yes, sir. But this is not a this is not a apartment building, right? This is a no. like a flop house. People are renting rooms no, or I hanging out in rooms. I wouldn't call it that. Um, and the thing is, is you know, because that's 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 a, again that's. It's a fairly derogatory term, and okay, I wouldn't I just, say, I the wouldn't question say that. is very simple. It's not a rentable apartment no. building where you rent rooms. Okay, to put it this way, was the landlord doing something illegal? Sure. Did everybody else know that that, that, that they weren't the question, supposed to be there? Mr. Tucker, well, I don't the know question what you're is very, the question is very specific. Okay. Be okay. Specific. It's not a place where you rent apartments. Is that correct? Yes, it is because they had apartments there for rent. Okay. And there were actual legitimate apartments for rent in this warehouse. And, 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 and that's why I was answering your question the way I did. Legitimate, no, the landlord was not. He was man, he, he's subletting this, this, this thing and mm -hmm. he built apartments in it. So you were and, house sitting for your friends, right? Yes. And that's the only reason you were even staying at the place at that point in time? Yes. But you didn't have another place to live, right? You were going, you said No, cops. I mean, the thing is, yeah, I was actually saving up for a boat. I actually had money in my, in, in my pocket. Okay. I didn't ask you about money in your pocket. You were actually staying at a homeless shelter known as COPS. Yes, Is that I correct? Was. Yes, I was. All right. So you didn't have a permanent home? No. And you were you did your share of partying during this time? Yes. Right? You said it was Fantasy Fest, and this yep. is what you do at Fantasy Fest. You really you yep. know, tie one on for a couple of weeks, you said, right? Oh, yeah. I'm around Fantasy Fest time? Yeah, of course. It goes on for a while, right? Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm, again, yeah, probably every, probably every Fantasy Fest I've ever been to. Yes. Showing what's been previously marked as whiskey for identification. You recognize that? Sure do. And what is that? <laughs> that would be me. Is that how you looked at the back in November? Is that it sure is. Do you seek to move in, W? Is there any objection? Um, no, Your Honor. I'm just wondering what the relevance of what I looked like back then. I'm, uh, but, uh, I mean, if there's an objection. No, it's one. okay. We can go ahead and put it in. All right. So, admit his dates next in order. 18. Thank you, Ms. Bynum. So this is how you look back in 2017, right? Mm hmm? Pretty full goatee. Oh, yeah. Big full goatee. Big full goatee, right? Yep. Kind of thing that would be hard to cover mm -hmm. if you were putting a mask on that stopped at the chin, right? I wouldn't say that. I actually wouldn't say that. Wouldn't because I, that? I mean, again, that would be speculation, so I'll object. Okay, so you don't agree that it would be hard to cover if you just had a simple face mask? I'm not going to agree to that at all, because, man, again, I'm not, I'm, not saying, I'm, not saying easier, would, I'm not saying it wouldn't. Certainly easier to cover with a neck gaiter, right? You pull the neck gaiter up, it covers the mouth, the chin, everything. Well, the thing is, is uh, here's the thing, is that whole neck gaiter thing, I didn't know what one was until after I heard your client say it. Or didn't I know should what say not your client, but whatever. Didn't know what a neck gaiter was? No, I didn't, actually, to be honest. So now you're living at this warehouse. You know Rory, Rory Wilson, don't you? Yes, I do. You guys are hanging out now and then, right? Yeah, probably. I Partying mean, like together? I, said, I don't know. You know, I'm like, again, I didn't go over there all the time because, I, again, April and I did not get along. So I'm not trying to hang out with her too much. April didn't like you? No, she did not. You didn't like her? N no, I did not, actually. Now, did we did we hang out sometimes? Sure. And I remember there's times we did party, you know, that was like uh, I remember one time we went downtown, you know, uh, Rory Wilson. Because, again, here's the thing is, I remember this during the hurricane. Uh, they had was it the hog, uh, the hogfish? They Mr. Were Tucker, I'm going to cut you off, sir. There's no question pending. Did you hang out socially or not with April Walker and Rory no, Wilson? No, April Walker, I tried not to. Um, okay. And, you know, I'm not saying she didn't come looking for Rory a couple times, but yeah. 
I tried not to, but Roy Wilson, yes, I did hang out with him on a, on a few occasions. And you heard that out. One thing. Is that exhibit being published, or are you going to take it back to oh, the I've already clerk? published it, Judge. Okay, I already so we're, okay. we're going to either put it on the podium, or let's bring it to the okay. clerk. Thank you. Okay, so, Mr. Tucker, so you heard the testimony, right? You heard that there was an allegation that you threatened April Walker. Oh, I've heard that testimony, but that testimony wasn't true. So you didn't threaten oh, no. Wilson's pregnant, nine oh, months no. pregnant girlfriend. Oh, no. no you actually no, no. felt bad for her because she was put on the ground during yes, the rape. Yes, I did. And man, look, even if I don't like somebody, you know, again, seeing them on the ground mm -hmm. in that position when she's eight months pregnant, yes, that's not cool, you know? That's bottom line. I didn't like her, but that doesn't mean you put her on the ground in that position. Now, you testified that you went up to CVS with Roy Wilson that night. Um, no, I did not. When did you and Roy Wilson go to CVS and the, for you to, to tell you the honest truth, like, you know, that was actually, that was put to me by investigators. They said that, but um, again, I told you I was, you know, I was drunk that day and I'm sitting there and I tried to remember it. And man, I'm sitting there going, I don't remember doing that. But you and, just testified to this jury that you went to CVS to get cigarettes? Oh, I went to Tom Thumb Tom to get Thumb. cigarettes, okay. and it wasn't Tom with Thumb. Roy Wilson, it was with Travis. With Travis? Right. You and Travis went. Let's so talk let's about get Travis. The story straight. You and Travis were acquaintances, right? Yes, we were acquaintances. Okay. Travis was staying at the warehouse as well, right? Yes, sir. Matter of fact, you and Travis were both staying upstairs in the warehouse, yes, right? Yeah, when I was staying in CJ and, Michelle, uh, CJ and Michelle's room, yes. Travis was in another room upstairs. Yes, he was upstairs. But you gotta remember, he also went to jail, so, I mean, he wasn't there for a second. So. Right, but he came back about a week later, right? Uh, to be honest, I don't remember how long it was. I know I was at work when he went to jail. Let me ask you, Mr. Tucker, was Travis there the day of the raid? Um, that's the thing is, he wasn't there in the beginning, mm -hmm. right? Because, um, I mean, you know, he wasn't there. Was he there when they took you down and put you in the police car? No, he wasn't there for that. He was he there, there when they took the, you wasn't there for that part, that part of it, at least not that I know of, right? Was uh, he, he there when there. they took you off to jail? Um, was he there when it, no, because when I went to jail, I was at Cots, and when I went to jail, I wasn't, he, they didn't grab me from the warehouse, they grabbed me from Cots. The night of the raid, they didn't take you down and then let you go? They did take me down and let me go, but that wasn't taking me to jail, that was taking me down and interrogating me all night. Okay, so the night they took you down to interrogate you, was Travis there when you guys left the warehouse to go down and be hold interrogated? On, on. Let me make sure I'm hearing this correctly. What, uh, please repeat the question. The night of the raid, right, gotcha. when they took you down, not to jail, but to question you, right, gotcha. was Travis at the warehouse when you guys left to go to the police station? I don't know, to be honest, I don't know. And how did I you was, get to the police station? Now you I were, got, I got there you. in a squad car in handcuffs. Okay. Now, let's see. Um, you said that while you were in... And this is after you got arrested, you were in jail, and you got reacquainted with an old high school friend of yours. I thought that wasn't relevant. You just testified to it, sir. Okay, well, in that case, yes, I did. I, I, I'm going to ask you just answer the questions if you could. Yeah. And if there's a relevant objection, you can make it. Thank you. But you don't need to question me. Okay. You said you were in jail. Yes. And you got reacquainted with this high yes. school wife or a girlfriend of yours who became your wife. Well, actually, to be, again, she wasn't my high school girlfriend. She wasn't, you know, she was a friend that I knew from when I was 14 years old. And yes, I hadn't seen her in 33 years. And That's you guys it. ended up getting married, right? Yes, we did. And she is actually very wealthy, isn't she? Multi-millionaires. I beg your pardon? Multi-millionaires. And you guys are, are you married today to her? Yes, I am. Going beyond, I'm sorry, but I, I cut him off of your objection and I, I, okay, Judge, well, he just testified about his wife. He and, mentioned it, and you touched upon within the scope, but I believe okay. this is beyond the scope. I have no problem is, talking about my wife. Okay. I understand, but I, I do. All right, so now you're not in jail the entire time waiting for your trial, right? No, that's not true. I was in jail for two years. And then you actually got out pending yeah, your trial? Yeah, $2 million bond. Let's talk about Paula, your relationship with Paula Belmont. Okay. You guys, you just testified that you weren't great friends in the beginning. You just kind of knew of each other, right? That is true. She testified you'd never been to the treehouse, but that's not accurate, right? Because you 
testified you'd actually been well, there three times. I don't remember her ever testifying to that, <clears> but <throat> she may not have remembered it. It was one time. That's it. I thought you said three times. You'd no, there. I've been there three times, but Paula, Paula, but and she woke me up one time yelling at me, you okay. know, because man, I wasn't supposed to be there. Apparently, I don't know, but man, the thing is, she woke me up and she was yelling at me. I don't, I don't even know if she remembers it. And now, describe your relationship with Paula today. Paula's one of my best friends. One of your best friends. Yes. All right. I'm going to show you what's been previously marked for identification. I sure do. And what do they depict? They depict me and Paula at the hospital when I'm trying to make her feel better and making funny faces at the camera. Is that, when, were these, when were these shots taken? Very recently. Judge, at this time, I take the move in states exhibit S for identification. Any objection? Nope. All right. Admit S. Uh, 19 A and B. All right. Actually, you want to know exactly which day? I can. I think I can remember. Sure, go ahead. Um, it was the day that I actually, you know, went over there to check on her because she said, uh, "Was it?" She said that you know she was, you know, her doctor said that it had taken a worse. It was the day before I came in here and asked for the motion. And then she laid in bed. Didn't she have some kind of an infectious disease or something? Hence the body suit. But you have no mask on. That's true. Take a, I was hanging out. Took a chance. I was trying to make her feel better. And you said you'd become one of your friends with her, right? Like I said, she's one of my best friends. Well, what's changed? Now you said you were not always friends, and now you're best friends with her. What changed? Well. I don't know if you know the story about how that happened, but I'll, I'll go ahead and tell it to you if you want me to. Sure, go ahead. Okay. Paula was a victim in the crime, right? And now I am an accused murderer at that point, right? And here it is, is uh, when this all happened, that makes it so that I can't talk to Paula, right? I, I'm not allowed to communicate with her. That makes sense, right? Um, they had a protective order that immediately went in, and I couldn't talk to her. Paula, she gets diagnosed with COPD, right? And, uh, and she, Paula, she, um, she actually files a motion with the court, right? Because she wants to, and this is, she goes on the press and she starts saying this on the press, right? She wants to apologize to me for her role in, you know, for her role in anything that they've done to me. That's what she says. So she's... And the judge apologizing the judge, to you. She she wants to. She can't talk to me, right? So she wants to. Now you're aware in the beginning she couldn't ID the second person, right? Look, I, I'm I'm aware in the beginning. Very simple question. You Look, are aware, yes or no, that in the beginning when she was first spoken Mr. to, Mansfield, she could not. Mr. Tucker, you're listen to the me to question. Remember, okay. Six years ago, and it's man, a very what, simple and question. What I thought then. Are you aware? Gentlemen, gentlemen, let let him finish the question, and you can answer. Yeah, let me answer it. Okay, he hasn't finished the question. Okay. Go ahead, Mr. Ask, ask away. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Are you aware that six years ago when she was first interviewed by the police, she could not ID the second person? Are you aware of that, yes or no? I'm gonna tell you, I'm aware that she could not positively ID the second person, man, when, she, when this first happened, no. And she was able to identify Corey, Wil Corey Wilson, but Roy Wilson, but not the second person, correct? Um, yes, she did not positively ID the second person. Well, she said she didn't get a good look at the second person, right? That's not true. She said that she was focused on Roy Wilson at the time, and I that object, the honest. second person. I object, Your Honor. She's asking me to go what I know from video and what I know okay. from police reports now. You know, that's. I sustain the objection. There are 
are varying statements that she's made. Yep. So um, at one point she said it, but presumably you're aware of other statements. Right. Because so, uh, again, hmm. I watched all these videos and I read. So let's go back stuff. to that first night when she's interviewed. She says she can't ID the second person, right? Didn't get a good look at which. Hold on. Excuse me. Which night are we talking about? Night of the crime when she's okay. being interviewed. Again, you're asking me to go to video. You're asking me to go to police reports, and that is hearsay. So are I'll you object. aware that she I'll was object. unable to identify the second person? Excuse me. Are you aware she was unable to identify the second person? So at which time period? The night of the crime. Again. You're asking me to go to police reports. You're asking me to commit hearsay. Simple question, sir. So, objection. Okay, I'm going to overrule that objection. Okay. It's just your awareness okay. of one my point awareness, in time and one uh, statement. My awareness at the time, right? And if I can, I'm, I'm going to have to remember this because the Lord knows I've gone over this a million times. So, I'm going to have to think about my memory here. Um, at the time, as far as uh, even any statements by Paula, hold on a second. Because, okay, I was in jail when this first happened. I'm asking right? you, no, as no, you sit here, sir, you're asking Tucker, me to I'm, remember. I'm asking you as you sit here today, not where your mind was back then, as you sit here today. Okay. as I sit here today. Okay. Are you aware that she could not ID the second person on the asking, night it happened? Okay, and you're asking me to commit hearsay. Um, I'm, I don't believe that's the case, so you, you oh, okay. can answer it. And okay. then, remember, you'll have the opportunity okay. for re As, to as I sit here today. Just let me oh, finish. You'll okay. have the opportunity for redirect. Okay, thank so you. So if you, after this is finished, want to elaborate <clears throat> on certain things you may, but oh. in terms of succinct answer to this question, you do okay. need to give I'll it. give you a succinct answer to this question. <laughs> Okay, it depends on the time period as far as Paula. As, you, as today, I could definitely tell you that different time periods, she said different things. I can say that. I, and you're aware that the very night it happened, she did not identify the second person? The very night it happened, again, that's the only reason I would even remember this right now is because we've been going over it recently. Correct. And I'm going over it, and she had varying statements at that point. Well, you're certainly aware that at the perpetuated testimony, yes. she was able to say it wasn't you as the second person, I'm right? A, I'm also aware that she was, co again, coerced into making statements by police. So, okay. Didn't ask you about that, sir. Okay. Very simple question. Well, if you're you going to lead me, if you're going to You were aware me. that during her perpetuated testimony that you sat and watched, yes. you observed her adamantly yes. stating it was yes. Tucker's not the second guy, right? Yep, I sure did. That was four years after the crime was committed. And that was four about years. Three years. That was four years after the crime was committed. Well, September of 20 would be and, about three years, right? Okay, somewhere in there. But here's the thing. And there's no question pending, sir. Here's, I'm asking the questions okay. you're answering. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, that's go, how this works. Okay, go for it. Ask me another question. I'll, I'll take any ones you got. Great. Good to hear it. Yeah. That's why I put myself up here. Now, she testified that she had talked to your wife through Facebook. Did you also communicate with her through Facebook? No, I was not allowed. So you never had any communications with her? No, not on Facebook at that time. Have you had any? You saw her at McDonald's after the crime, right? Yes, but I was not under arrest at that point. I was not under a, pro a protective order at that point. Okay, but when you saw her at McDonald's, you guys had a conversation there, right? Yes, we did. And did you tell her anything about the crime when you were saw her at McDonald's? Um, you know, I told her what had happened to me about the police interrogating me and she did ask me some questions i remember that i remember answering you know different questions as she asked them i remember she told me her experience she told me how horrible it was i remember like i said sitting there feeling like eh. you talk about feeling oh, god not sorry for somebody that's the wrong way to say so it you communicated with, is it fair to say you communicated with her at mcdonald's yes now is it your testimony today that you've not communicated her with her directly at all from that moment until today? No. When okay. did I say that? So tell us about those communications. You said you weren't allowed okay. to talk to her, right? Yes, sir. And okay. I also said and when that did that end? I also said she filed a motion with the court to be able to talk to me. And that, yes, she was going on the press saying these things that she wanted to apologize to me. Judge Jones granted, granted that, that motion and, and she was allowed to talk to me. And, and that's when, had, and now we you've are. had general communications oh, please, with please. her ever since. He, he was Sorry. still testifying. Sorry, I'm just telling you. No, that. I'm not talking to you. I'm saying if you weren't complete with your answer, go ahead. Yeah, I'm just, you know, look, there comes a point where. Judge, again, there's no question pending. No, well, he was still answering the thank last you. question. Yeah, so thank go, you. finish your answer to the last question. <sighs> Judge Jones granted the order allowing us to be able to talk. And that day, yeah, I was in tears. 
Okay. So you got the interiors part out. The jury heard it. Yep. Okay? Yeah, thanks. All right, great. Let's move on. So you've talked to her, admittedly, since then. Oh, quite a bit. Quite a bit, yeah. right? Yeah, quite a bit. Do you remember her taking a trip to California? Vaguely, yes. She posted pictures of it, right? Mm. If I remember right, she posted pictures of Woody. Of who? Uh, she likes, uh, she likes uh, Woody from... I guess uh, I forget what the name of the movie is. It's, um, it's some Disney thing, man. But she likes a character named Woody. Oh, Woody from Toy, Toy Story. I That's that. what it is. Thank okay. you. One minute, please, Judge. All right. I'm not sure if we could talk at that time, I've seen her Facebook page. So, do you remember seeing these on her Facebook page? Yeah, I don't understand the relevance of them. Judge, at this time I seek to move in what's been previously marked as Tango 1 through 5. Okay, is there any objection? Um, again, I'd like to know the relevance of the pictures. Okay, you're objecting to yeah, relevance. relevance. Yeah. Okay, so we'll have to have a bench conference then. Um, so, come on, come on around. Thank you, sir.
All right, so let's pick it back up. You're aware of her trip to California, right? Yes, I am. She took pictures with Woody, you said, right? Yep. I think she takes them pretty much on every trip she goes on. All right. Ever since that order was lifted, you've had pretty steady communication with her. Is that fair to say? Uh, fairly steady. Sometimes, man, a little more, sometimes less. Now, you talked about this friend, um, Big Somebody. What's his name again? Big Scott. Big Scott. Yep. Big Scott was staying at the warehouse with everybody? No, he was not. He was there that night, yes. but Which uh, night is that, sir? That would be... Um, I guess that would be the night of the crime. Because, uh, again, you know, like I said, I went to go get cigarettes with Travis, come back, and Big Scott is at the door. And so Big Scott, was he a friend of yours or an acquaintance? How would you describe him? Um, actually, he's, he's, uh, he's a friend, you know, and he was a friend of, you know, I think he was a friend of a couple people there. And at some point, are you aware of Big Scott telling you and Travis and Rory, I don't know what you guys are plotting, but I want nothing to do with it. Do you remember that comment? Uh, uh, no. No? No. When did you first learn that Mr. Bonnet had been murdered? I told you that already. I told you that already. Okay, but you need to I didn't, well, actually, I shouldn't say I, I shouldn't say I knew Mr. Bonnet got murdered at that point. I, at that point, the first time I heard anything about what, a ha what had happened at the treehouse, and it wasn't even the treehouse. You know, they told me somebody got stabbed in the CVS parking lot. That's the first time I heard about it. So the way, the way you heard about it, the stabbing yes. was alleged to have happened in the right. CVS parking lot. Right. The next time I heard about it, I was at the police station. Is that when you found out it was actually at this, this treehouse location? Yes. And that's when you were talking to Detective Pitcher, right? Uh, that would be Detective Pitcher, Danielle Malone, and Captain Phelps. Now, at some point, didn't you tell Detective Pitcher what you told this jury today, that you were not involved and that you were sleeping off, you were yeah. drunk and sleeping yeah. it off or something. Yeah, I told him, man, I told him the same thing. I couldn't remember much, man, from the night. And yes, I remember passing out. I remember waking up because right. I needed cigarettes and I went to the, the, was it the Tom Thumb and Travis went with me. And that's what you told Detective Pitcher, correct? Yes, it is. And you even told Detective Pitcher that just ask Travis, he'll back you up, right? I thought, again, I thought so. I didn't know anything was wrong. All right. Well, Travis didn't back you up, did he? No, he didn't. <laughs> Travis is Travis yeah, good clean and, and gave a statement to the police, didn't he? Um, yes, he did. And, okay, you know, it's just again, yes, no? Okay, yes, I'll he did. Your commentary on it. Yes, he did. Do you remember when you saw Paula McDonald's in this whole timeline? What, when did you run into her McDonald's? The very next day? Was it two days later? Three days later? It was. It was. Let's see. Hold on. It would have been okay because the raid, supposedly, you know, if you want to call it that, whatever you want to call it, that happens on the 21st. Going into the 22nd is when I'm literally being interrogated all night. The next, that day, whatever that day is, so that would probably be. But that would be the 22nd again, because it ends that morning. So, okay, 22nd. It would be on the 22nd. Okay. And let me ask you, Mr. Tucker, you were making pretty good money, right? 300 an hour to put these blue tarps up? Yeah, I was doing all right. What, what's the reason you hadn't gotten a place? What, what, you know, you were still living in these well, temporary again, places. again, I lived on a boat before, right? And as I testified, I was, you know, I was trying to save up for a new boat. There are going to be plenty of cheap ones around, but here's the thing is I don't like paying outrageous rents that are in Key West. I'd rather buy a boat and live on the water. Now, you said you'd passed out that day drinking these fireballs, right? Yes, sir. What time in that, like what time, take us through that day, the timeline for that day. When were you drinking these fireballs? I know, look, I, that's like I said, I don't really remember the day that well. I remember... I remember drinking during the day. I do remember that. I don't even remember all who was there. I know there were other people that came in and out. I know I passed out somewhere along the lines. You know, but that, I mean, asking me specifics, especially six years later, I couldn't tell you. So you started drinking these red balls. Was the sun still up? That would be fireball, sir. And fireball. 
Yes, the sun was still up you know, while I was drinking. That, that is true. All right. Do you remember getting out of bed and going right to the partying phase, or did you do something else before no, it started I, I, that day? I already testified to that. I told you that. Okay. Well, I'm asking again. Okay. Um, I appreciate I, you reminding me. I'm just saying is I went to, okay, I woke up at some point in the time, and I went and got cigarettes at the Tom Thumb. And I came back, and Travis was with me. And, yes, Big Scott was there. I told you what happened after that. But I'm talking about earlier in the day. When you got out of bed that day, did you go do something, or did you just start drinking? No, actually, I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure, because if I'm drinking during the day, I had a day off. So, you know, if I'm drinking during the day, I had a day off. So, yeah, I would imagine I had the day off. And do you remember passing out that day? Yeah, um, remember passing out? I don't know if that's a, a proper term, but no, okay. I don't remember passing out. I remember, don't remember passing out? I remember I passed out somewhere along the lines, but, yeah, I don't, it, I, I guess I'm being too you know, literal here, but. I remember, yes, I went to sleep sometime during the, in, during the day and night. I don't know. And do you remember what time you woke up? No. Day or night? Night. Police cars already out and about? Police and cars were already up there on Laurel Avenue. I could see, because, okay, I could see the lights from the Tom Thumb parking lot. I could see all the lights that were up on Laurel Avenue. Do you know how many times Mr. Bonham was stabbed? Um, at this point, yes. So now, I guess your story is that this is all being pinned on you, right? You didn't well, do this. You, you would know better than anybody, Mr. Mansfield. Oh, would I? Yes. But I wasn't there, you were. So why don't you tell me, are you telling me this was all you, pinned on you? I hate to tell you, again, Mr. Mansfield, it's no, very simple, you Mr. Just Tucker. Said is that your I was story there, today? You have no proof is your that, story uh, today sir. that you were? Sir. This is all being made up, and that you didn't do this. Yes, this is yeah, that. That is my story all okay. day, and I've so, said it since day one. So this is just the big Bubba system going after you to pin this on you. Yeah, and Mr. Mansfield. I, again, I can answer that. You know, would you like me to answer it? Would you like me how to, to to tell you how I know that? You said you didn't want to go into that. Well, you know what. Let's not go into that because I'm pretty sure what your opinion is has no factual basis to it. Really? So, in other words, this is your theory that this is all being pinned on you by the oh. Big Bubba system. Your Honor, I, I, would, uh, I would object unless he wants to let me go into the things he doesn't want to go I'll, into. I'll sustain that last question as <laughs> argumentative. I have nothing else, Judge. All right.